We're at the Norris Geyser Basin, and uh, on the walk, we're walking a path down to it. There's the uh, Yellowstone Bookstore, the old cabin. It's kind of cool. Got one of the geysers going off. This is the Norris Geyser Basin. Found a quiet place in the park. There's nobody on this trail. Nobody. We're going to some of these back geysers that they got at the Norris Geyser Basin. I told her let's do these back ones first because it's up on the hill. But once we go down there, then we have to come back up the hill again to see these. So we're trying to save us. We're trying to save one less hill. She's wondering, that's me, she don't see no better than I do. Well, this entire hillside is venting volcanic gas. All of it, all over. So this is Congress Pool. Some little kid walking by here just told us it was a nice, pretty pool, but it had a really bad name. Congress Pool. Successful. Uh, this wouldn't look nice and pretty blue. I don't know. I'm just here bubbling, boiling everywhere. This is the Norris Geyser Basin. Really large, hot area. Anyway, here's a dried up geyser, hot spring. These things sometimes blow up and throw rocks like this out. When you see these chunks of rocks around geysers, occasionally geysers actually throw chunks of rock out. This is porcelain springs. It looks like it's made of porcelain. It's such a pretty color. And then you got all the thermophiles from the overflow and all the different colors. Geyser. I'll show you this. This is why you can't walk around down in a field like this. See how the edges of that are broke and there's boiling water? That's what can happen. It can just break and you and you suddenly you're in boiling water. Any place up to here you it could break through on you and you could land in something that looks just like that which would not be good. So that's where we were. This is about midway down. And we're headed down there. Now there's a second geyser basin over the hill there. This is a whole separate trail. That's the lower geyser basin. Guys are where? Whoa. Yeah, I got some guys are going off in the distance here. Oh, uh, quit. The little one's going. The little one's going. I missed the big one. Maybe we'll go off again before. We get down there. Some guys that go off every few minutes, some every hour, some every few hours, some go off twice a week, some go off every few years. Some go off once like every 10 years. Enough of this guys there, let's move on. That's a pretty blue pool. Hillside we come down. It's got a pool. It's a 
Got some cats coming out of the rock out here. Guys are on side of the hill going off. Got more coming out of the ground right over here too. The different colors from the thermal, different thermal miles, and different temperatures of the water coming through here. The green. Well, none of them are going off right now, but we got the pinwheel guys are here, and constant guys are down there. And what was that other one? Really good guys are. It's like three or four guys are right here. We're going to wait around a few minutes, maybe something will happen. We found a bench in the shade, so we're going to sit down for a minute. I was just thinking about that fumarole. If it wasn't a park and you had a house here, man, you could stick a pipe in that thing and heat your house, have hot water, have all kinds of energy. Kind of see down in this one a little bit. Pretty deep, looks like. Almost like a something you see on the moon or Mars or something. Going up the hill there and there's 